Taipei is well known for its night markets, having various shops selling clothes and shoes, coin ops, jewelry, graffiti peeps in action, street food, lots of street food, fancy cars, and free hugs if you're lucky. Some of the famous night markets in Taiwan are Ximen Ding, located outside Ximen MRT Station Exit 1 and Exit 6. Shilin Night Market, across Jiantan MRT Station. If you've only got a couple of nights to spend in Taipei, I highly recommend going to these two. All footage from this video are from those two places. Next on the list is Raohe Night Market. It is close to Songshan MRT Station and Songshan Train Station. Besides the usual night market gigs, you'll find Tuyo Temple, built by local residents during the 18th century. About 500 meters away is a massive clothing shopping outlet called Ufen Pu. Here you'd find women's apparel and accessories. The shops usually open at 1 p.m. and close at 10 p.m. There are heaps of smaller district night markets that I have not mentioned, but the last on my list is Shida Night Market. It is located close to National Taiwan Normal University, or more famously known as Shida. This university has a large Mandarin training center and foreign exchange program, drawing many foreign students to live in this area. Hence, it's one of the most English-friendly places in Taipei. Shida Night Market offers a wide selection of night market food, cheap clothes from stylish boutiques, of which many are owned and operated by young entrepreneurs looking to establish themselves. I took Sam to see Munting on our first night in Taipei. The layout seems like one of the many famous shopping areas in Tokyo. I had a vegan hot pot, and I took Sam to try some local street food including Taiwan's famous deep fried chicken filet called deep pie. And some sort of sweetness or something. I can't explain it. It's nice. It's good. It's good. Okay. Sounds like I'm like, yeah, it's nice. That's nice. He also tried some Taiwanese real pancake called Chou Wen Bing. It's like a thin pancake with filling inside. We also had some lemonade from this shop. I took Sam to the Graffiti Street, which is behind Seaman Elementary School. Not a lot of people know about this alley, so I've linked the address in the description box below. I'll end the video here because I really need to get some sleep for a night shift. And thank you for watching the video.